Welcome once again to Timeless Personal Growth and Development and Alpha Dad Mindset, Episode 16. Why men need to lead their families. I'm sure to some people this topic today might be a little bit controversial and it might rub, uh, ruffle some feathers on some people, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. Challenge thoughts, challenge ideas, get a different perspective. Well, my perspective. Why do I think men should be the one to lead their families? Why does it have to be men? Well, I'll share with you what inspired this topic today. And uh, lately, the past few weeks, I've been having a lot of conversations with people. And, well, well, to start off, I recently just started a family myself. My son is almost three months old. And so you, and you talk to different people, you hear different stories of how the, their family life is going. How the relationship is going, how the marriage is going, how the relationship with their kids are going. And you hear all these different stories of, well, you hear the same narrative. You, see, you, hear, this, you hear this phrase, this term all the time. You always see, and it's very popular amongst our culture now. You hear it all the time. You look at a, look at a man and a woman. You see their dynamic, or how they are with each other. And it's always the woman in control, the woman leading the marriage, the woman leading the family. You hear people say this all the time. Oh, she's wearing, she's definitely wearing the pants in that relationship. And I always thought that phrase is interesting because it's not a ter- it's not a term, it's not a sentence used to empower women. When you say, "Oh, she's wearing the pants in the family," you're not really talking about the woman. They're talking about the man. So it's not the term is that that term is not used to compliment the woman. It's used to demean the man in that marriage, in that relationship, or in that family. Basically, saying like, "Why are you, you know, letting your wife? Why are you letting your girlfriend control everything and run every, do anything? And you're sitting there not having an opinion of, of yourself." And just letting her do everything. Well, well, why why is that a common dynamic to, to begin with? Why is that a common dynamic now? In the last maybe 30, 40 years, you hear that all the time now. Like, oh well, she runs, she runs the household. She definitely wears the pants in that relationship. <laughs> kind of a little snicker behind it. Well, men have been conditioned like that. That's the issue is men have been conditioned in the last 30, 40 years to think like that. Oh, well, hey, hey, buddy, want to go out for drinks this weekend? And you're talking to your friend like, ah, well, let me check with the boss first and I'll get back to you. Boss talking about their wife. And we make fun of guys like that. We tease them. We make fun of them. You know, we challenge their masculinity because it's silly. Because why, why do you have to do that to begin with? Why do, why do men talk like that? Why do they think like that? That everything they need, every decision they have to do, they got to check with their wives first. Why do they need to do that? Because they've been conditioned to think that like that. They've been conditioned to think that taking the lead, taking authority in their marriage, in their relationship is wrong. And it's not wrong. They're just conditioned to think that it's wrong. But it's not. And the reason why men need to take that authoritative role and need to take that leadership role amongst their family is it's all based on biology. If you're allowing your wife, if you're allowing your girlfriend to make decisions on every little thing and you just follow her lead, how is she going to see you? She's not going to see you as the man of the house like you're supposed to be. She's going to see you as one of the kids. You're just another kid in the house. Or you just look at, she's going to look at you like her little brother. And that's it. Because you allowed her to make all the decisions. So when you kind of take a step forward, if I know I'm going to make a decision, finally, she's not going to take that seriously because you conditioned her 
that you're just a little follower and you'll do everything she wants you to do. You don't challenge her, you don't challenge any kind of authority, you don't take authority because you're conditioned to think that that's not okay. And it is okay, it just depends how you do it. In a biological, in a biological sense, men need to be those leaders. Why? Because it goes it goes with attraction and romance. If you allow the woman to make all the decisions, to be the breadwinner, basically to lead the family, she loses respect for you, she loses romance, she loses attraction, and the relationship falls apart, marriage and the family falls apart. And it's all biological. It's all, this is all biological, it's all subconscious, it's all primal instincts in females and males. If you, the man takes authority and is a natural leader and takes control and leads the family like he's supposed to, how is she going to view him as a man? Like he's supposed to be. He's, he's supposed to be the man, the leader. Like I said in the beginning of this video, that term that I talk about, she wears the pants in the family, that only applies to women. You don't hear, you don't hear people talk, say things like, oh, well, he really, he really wears the pants in the family. We don't say that about men. We don't say that in men in the leadership role. Why? Because men are supposed to be in the leadership role. In the confines of a family, he is supposed to be. And what happens when he's, when he's not, the family falls apart eventually over time and if it doesn't well she's just gonna see him as a another child around the house when the man steps up and takes authority and takes leadership the family is properly balanced between men and between women women need someone they can respect and who they can look up to man takes that leadership role he is respected and he is looked up to to make decisions and to lead effectively the woman has respect for him, the woman can fall in love for her with him, and the woman can feel attraction for him. And the kids will be able to see him in that same light, because the kids will follow the mother. So for what, if the mother is looking at the father of her children with admiration, with respect, with love, with affection, the kids are going to see that through the mother's eyes, and the kids are going to adopt that same behavior and look at their father in the same way. Wow, Dad's awesome. Dad's strong. Dad's masculine. Dad knows how to lead and take control and make decisions. But he does it in a respectful way. Because he's going to lead our family well. And he's going to lead us where we need to be. Because he makes the decisions. He makes the final call. But if you're someone who's always been conditioned not to take that role or to allow like, oh, well, I'll just let my wife make all the decisions and be nice to her. Truth of the matter is she doesn't want to be in that position. She doesn't. You want to be in that position. As a man, yeah, you want to be in that position. You want to be the man. The man of the house. If you're allowing your wife, even when you're, ki even the kids, when the kids get older, if you don't set boundaries and make rules and discipline the kids and lead the kids, what's gonna happen then? The kids are gonna view you in the same way. The kids are gonna not have any respect for you either. Men, men 50, 60, 70 years ago, in a sense, they, they were the head of the household. They were, but in the last like 40, 50 years, that switched where women are kind of more of the household, that it just kind of becomes imbalanced. I'm not saying women can be leaders, they can be. In business, in their own personal lives, absolutely they can be. They can be awesome, they can be great leaders. But in the confines of a family, in romantic relationships, no, it gets complicated. Because women want a man they can look up to and respect and admire. And if you're a guy who's standing three feet behind her, holding her hand like a child walking down the street, or she's walking ahead of you, 
and you're three feet behind her pushing the baby carriage. But that's not what you're designed to do. That's what you're built to do. And we're designed to be the leaders of the household. And that's what, and especially when you have boys, especially when you have sons. Boys leave the house. They start a family of their own. The father is there to teach the boy how to be the man of their own house. That whole term, man of the house. You're not the man of the house if you're not making decisions, if you're not taking that leadership role. You're just the boy. Another, you're the bigger boy in the house. That's all you are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this with this is that men, yes, like I said in the beginning of the video, men are conditioned not to think like that before. That taking their authority, taking the leadership role is bad. It's not bad. Because men just have been conditioned. Women have been conditioned like that too. To think like, oh, men, I know I should take the leadership role because I'm the woman. But then you, know, you lose respect and you lose love and attraction for your boyfriend all over time because on a primal, biological, subconscious level, you want him to take the lead. You're just socially conditioned to think that you should be taking the lead, but you want him to take the lead. Deep down, you want to. You want to be have a strong, masculine man take leadership role and take the reins of the family and just go. But you got to take the authority. And sometimes taking the authority, can you take that with resistance too. But you just got to take it. And there may be resistance, but that's okay. Take it anyway. And don't be afraid to step up and take control of that family. And if you're someone who your wife does make all the decisions and you want to make a change and you want to kind of change the dynamic of the family a little bit and take more of a leadership role, that's going to take time because you've conditioned her and you conditioned the kids that mommy makes all the decisions. Kids come to you, oh, daddy, can I do this? Oh, I don't know. Go. I don't know. Just go Go check with your mother. No, they're coming to you because they're asking you. They want you to make the decision make that call. Sometimes it's okay to make a decision without checking with their mother first. It's okay. Those small decisions, it's okay. You don't always have to check in all the time. Don't worry about always checking in. And learn, learn to be comfortable It'll take time, especially if you've been conditioned in the wrong way. Learn over time to get comfortable to take authority. To take that leadership role. Even if it's by force, you got to take that. Even if it's with a little bit of resistance, you got to take it. Don't be afraid. On that note, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, you can subscribe, like, get the likes up on this video. YouTube video, and I will see you all in the next video. Hope you have a great week. Have a good one.